Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to Rose of Venus Tarot. It's Lacey. This is going to be a general collective energy reading. So take what resonates. Oh, and leave the rest behind. Cards are just flying out right here. It's like, okay, Ace of Swords came out in reverse on top of the unified love, the two of cups here. And then this came out sideways. So I'll take it forward and I'll do the good and bad interpretations of the seven of cups here. So seeing right now, we got the ace of swords in reverse. You could have had to cut someone off. And you know, it's like they want you to get over this without actually giving you an apology. This person just is one of those people who feel like you should just let it go. This could be family. This could be platonic energy. Yeah, this could uh, definitely be family like they feel like that's what family does like they just they thought that they were going to get to continuously mistreat you like you know unified love this person feels also there's someone here who feels like you're you were their soulmate and you were supposed to like deal with it even on a platonic level like they felt a certain closeness with you unfortunately they let that closeness they felt with you lead to um thinking that they could disrespect you i turned off the heat so you guys could hear me better i hope that didn't mess up the beginning of the reading here but yeah with unified love this person wants you back um I don't know. They could, they want you to let it go. Some people here might be apolo unapologetic. I'm saying you, you got endless options here and you got a lot of opportunities coming in because it came out sideways. I'm going to say that some of you guys are learning to balance your, um, different opportunities and your hobbies and your career, your different hustles. Some of you guys can have like online hustles and in-person hustles. You can have even two conflicting hustles. Like maybe you're you're like, I don't know, police officer that does only fans. <laughs> like you know not you don't have to be, but you know, I'm just saying. And you know you could be worrying how it go it's going to uh mix and it could be giving you guys some anxiety here. We could get pull some clarification cards. I'll even put it like that so that we could use it both ways. Both ways. Spirit, give me, give me more, give me more discontent limitations we got the devil here right now so somebody here is addicted to your your energy there also might be a warning for some not to overindulge if you did it's you know i'm sure it's going to be okay and whatnot but some of you guys could be tempted to um engage in some excess to get over it just you know question don't don't shame yourself for what you spend or whatnot but question your intention behind it like am i buying this shirt because i really like the shirt or am i just shopping right now so that i could feel better about some stress and anxiety i have going on right now because if you really just saw a shirt you're like oh I love that shirt. I'm going to buy it. I'm energetically, that's going to be good. That's going to be okay. But if you're feeling like, oh, I'm going to just, you know, spend just because I need that little, that pick me up, there might be a warning against that right now to try to, um, engage in other things that might be fulfilling towards you maybe some self-care some indoor hobbies or something like that that could alleviate your stress in different ways me instead of spending i decided to do my nails myself i think i did a really good job i'm like this is like the cutest time i've been doing the little plastic sets i had got me a little nail mannequin I just had to show you that. <laughs> I'm very proud of these. These are, I feel like they're cute. <laughs> but back to the reading. <laughs> mm, 
We got the high priestess here. We're gonna go back to the major arcana. Let's drop this off in the front. Intuitive, subconscious, feminine energy. Yeah, you might have given this person multiple chances, and this probably taught you over time not to give a lot of people chances. I'm feeling like, you know, you might have realized like the more chances you gave them, the dumber they thought you were. Like, I don't know any other way to put that, but like, you know, like they're like, oh, okay, certainly she is going to stay. We're going to clarify the um, unity. So some of you guys, you felt that intuitively and subconsciously. If not, this also could be a current energy. If you're feeling the intuitive vibe, like you got to pull away from somebody, specifically too, for some people in your work environment, you might be feeling like, oh, that girl or that guy is real friendly, but let me not get too friendly with them because they might snake on you. And if you're feeling like, that you might be feeling the right way they might uh sneak on you we got the will of fortune here and this is coming out above the um the two of cups so some of you guys are about to have unified love there could be somebody taking a serious interest in you at this time period like you know hmm yeah that or it could be unified self-love here but we got the will of fortune here that or you're about to become really lucky with your options in love because that did come out with the um the seven of cups next to it in fact we'll even take this down and we'll put the devil above the seven of cups with your options so Give me, give me more, give me more, give me, give me more. Oh, I'm feeling so much better. I was a little sick and I started a new job. I was <laughs> overly strained, but I feel like I'm finding my balance again. Ooh. Compromise, solutions to conflict, reconciliation. Somebody here wants you back in their lives. I'm getting platonic energy here. You could have had, hmm, somebody could have recently stumbled across your social media and they miss your energy, especially if you posted any sort of like feel good, like uplifting stuff. Maybe Halloween was a, of significance. If you posted yourself having fun out uh, in a costume with your man, your kids, yourself even, or you know, just you having fun. Somebody here might also Honestly, if you're somebody who know how to do things like braid hair, do makeup, you know, uh, that they might be wanting you back so that they could use you for some of those skills in life. <laughs> They're like, oh my goodness, I forgot. Which the way, you know, you do your hair might be real specific and they wanted it like, I don't know, how you do it as opposed to a salon that might give them a more... um bulky look that's very specific very very specific but i'm also feeling good energy and fortune coming from this pile i wanted to get more in the gossip to make it more juicy but some of you guys got a lot of good things coming towards you like you know especially in a way of finances Hermit self-reflection. This is saying you might want to keep your good fortunes to yourself. Even though you want to share them with other people, try not to share it until things are like finalized. And uh, once it's done, then you could uh, tell people a little bit more about what you got going on. But try to remember that there are people who are more competitive than happy. <laughs> Miserable people who want to compete if you tell them you just got a new apartment they're gonna say oh 
I'm gonna buy a house. <laughs> you know, not everybody is going to be happy for you. And that's another thing I'm feeling like they might miss. Yeah, I was saying that's another thing that this platonic energy or this person who wants compromise with you could miss is maybe you weren't competitive and they feel like a lot of people are very overly competitive. You just probably wanted to be yourself. A lot of people who are in the spiritual com community can be very genuine people and that's just what they want the right to be genuine people <laughs> and be their selves you know that person misses you there's a couple people who miss you especially if you had people who vent to you and used to you know tell you all their business all their secrets and stuff they miss you for that believe it or not a lot of them feel like they're putting on a facade it's like when they were around you they could take their mask off and you know it was molly percocet <laughs> but you know you know what i mean like you know they could take their mask off tell you the truth and not worry about being judged they feel like they ruined that with you by judging you and whatnot some people here though feel like you're playing innocent like you didn't know hmm. like i don't know like you're like it, they feel like it was a two-sided beef so let's bring it in and instead of a, this is a type of person who instead of apologizes they point out what you did okay yeah but you, Bob, I'm like, why you can't just apologize and like, you know, leave things the way they are. But either way, that person wants you more than you want them. Like, put it like that. I don't really feel like this person is necessary to have back into your life. See, yeah, they miss your compassion here, and they might have felt more creative when they was around you, especially if you're a person that's into doing your hair, your makeup and stuff. This type of person only did those things when you were around. Now they kind of, like, I don't know, like ponytail every day, or that could be you, and there's nothing wrong with that, but yeah, but I feel, I'm feeling more like it's the opposite. This person, you supplied this person with the energy to move forward in life if this person doesn't have that same type of creativity when you're not around that or you might be getting more creativity coming in soon yeah awakening fulfillment joy new love or filling yeah this pile seems like you got a lot of new love coming in i'm not getting a whole lot of energy from this this pile so I might just pull some angel numbers and then do my readings by the signs. Usually I could pinpoint a lot more in there. We got six, two, three. Six, two, three. And we got two of hearts right above the uh, two of cups here. So that lets me know. Some people definitely got someone that's looking at you in a more serious manner. I'm trying to tap more into this. I know it said at the end of the room. Let me pull more, one more card here about the lover, though. But then I'll do the angel number because that's just a lot of love coming in. Spirit, tell me more about these love cards. Spirit, tell me more about these love cards, please. Spirit, tell me more about these love cards. This could be with an Aries. Somebody could have an Aries hair. We got, hmm. Four of Wands, and I pulled it in reverse, though. Somebody here wants to take better care of you, and they they want to be someone, they might cry for you. If you've been through a lot and you had family issues here, this person wants to be 
some sort of figure in your life. Like this person wants to be someone that you could rely on, someone you could trust. It's like they feel your energy and they connect with it deeply. Like you and this person got a lot in common. This person though might be with someone else and they might be considering leaving their partner for you. That's not for everybody and I don't condone that here, but that's what's coming through here. Yeah, unfortunately for the other person, they might be feeling like calling it off with somebody else and getting with you. Your energy makes them feel renewed. It makes them feel inspired. It makes them feel creative. This person is thinking about kissing you, holding you, hugging you. They're thinking about going about it. This person takes a true interest in you. And you might have met this person and felt at ease as soon as you met them like if some this person has a nice smile for some of them some of you some of you guys I could see it specifically a darker skin male with bright teeth a smile like out the side like might have a dimple hair that's not for everybody that's somebody really specific and you know this person might be a little bit older than you too um I'm seeing a nice smile. To, oh, yeah, I can see two different people here. They got nice, a smile that puts you at ease here. And balance, lack of roots. Yeah, this person wants, you know, it's it, this person might have a little bit of a, a white knight syndrome or they're wondering about their white knight syndrome. And like, you know, if they just want to save you because you seem, you don't seem like a damsel in distress. You seem like you got a lot going, but they never felt the energy like you before. They want to take care of you, but they do have somebody. Some people have somebody here. That or, um, hmm. Yeah, they could even be trying to call. All, and I'm not, I'm not condoning that. Don't think I'm condoning that. But that, that's, you know, for some people. For other people, your person is perfectly single and whatnot. <laughs> <laughs> and you could you might have met this person already and feel at ease with them resistant change fact stagnation fair new I told myself I was gonna put one more card and then go to here yeah, yeah yeah this person doesn't want to repeat any negative patterns or you might be fearing repeating negative patterns here you use your discernment but also you know don't be too afraid to love hair but this is you know like I said, this is more so somebody taking a deep interest in you. you may not have um taken an interest into them just yet. Like, they really can't read you, and that might be a good thing for you. You don't have to give too much of yourself away at once. You know, use your discernment here. I'm going to look up the angel numbers, because that's my favorite way to end the reading. Oh, your girl getting a little thick again. I need to get back into the gym again. I've been thick, but, you know, I'm usually thick fit. Like now I'm getting a little, a little, a little winter time chunk. I've been coming home from work, going right to sleep. <laughs> I'm like, oh gosh, I miss not having a job. <laughs> Let me not say that. <laughs> The 623 angel number reminds you that personal growth and development are essential to relationships. No matter in your relationship status, take the time to invest in yourself and you will soon see positive changes all around. Yes, take the time to invest in yourself and you will soon see positive changes all around. Take the time to invest in yourself and you'll soon see positive changes all around. All right, that's it. Thank you guys. Love you guys. I hope you have a good night.
day, evening, whenever you're catching this reading. Like, comment, subscribe, help your girl grow. Thank you again, and I'll see you next time.